Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Junos Configuration Basics Lab 1. In this lab, we're going to go over basic user access and also banner configuration. So what we're going to show you how to do in this lab is we're going to show you how to set up users and user access into your Juniper device. We're going to create two different users, one with operator rights and the other one with super user rights. We're going to explain the differences and show you the differences in between those two different types of our classes of users. We're also going to explain the difference between the message banner and the announcement banner and show you how to place them and verify the configuration. So the first thing we're going to do, this picture might look similar to ones you've seen if you saw some of the introduction videos already. What I have is a, a drawing of my computer, which is the laptop, and I'm connected into my SRX210 device via the gig E000 interface. So I'm already SSH'd in via PuTTY. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the basics first on user access into the router. So the first thing that we need to do is go under configuration mode. And if we look at just do a show, we can see that we don't have anything set up yet for where we are going to place the user account configuration within the Junos. So the hierarchy are where we're going to put the user, create the user access into our device is under the edit system login hierarchy. So if I go under edit system login and do a set space question mark, you can see that I have multiple options. And what we're going to use for this lab, again, we're going to create two users. The first one we will name, we will do set user. The first person that we're going to create is a user named Aaron. And I'm going to use this name after one of my friends that I work with. He wanted to be, it's a funny story, but he wanted to be added into one of the videos. So I said, okay, well, I'm doing a, a video on user access. So I'll go ahead and, and put him in just to give him his 15 minutes of fame. So Aaron, this is for you. So our first user, Aaron, and obviously because he's our friend, what we're going to do is we're going to give him super user access, which is the highest level you can get. We'll do the command set user Aaron, and then this again, this is going to be the username. If I do a space question mark, you can see that we have to define next the login class. So there's a couple of criteria that we have to put in. The first one is the username. We have to define our user, and then we're going to have to define the class, which defines ultimately defines the permissions that we're giving the user that we're creating. In this case, if we do class space question mark, we have some predefined classes that we can use. We're going to give him super user access. So we'll do set user Aaron class super user. And once we have that configuration put in, the next thing we're going to do is we have to, let me just show you real fast. Let me bring up PuTTY. Okay, now that I have PuTTY up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get into the router, 192.168.1.1. I'm going to try to SSH in under Aaron's. If I do login as Aaron, it's going to ask us for the password. And 
the problem is, is we haven't set the password yet. So that's our next step in configuring our users under the edit system login hierarchy. What we have to do is go under and do set user then our username which is Aaron. Then we're going to have to configure our authentication method. In this case what we'll do is authentication space question mark. What we're going to use is the plain text password. And this